In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God our Father, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And, and with your spirit. spirit. Happy Easter to each one of you, my dear brothers and sisters, sisters in your convents, people in your families at home, our fathers in their parishes, and all of you friends. We've just had a great Easter celebration, extraordinary Easter celebration without a congregation, but we have been united through the media, united via the internet, and we felt close to each other. We experienced the joy of the resurrection, the peace of the resurrection, and the love of the resurrection which Jesus came to give. Above all, the hope which resurrection gives us, the moment of clouds over the, in the skies, we look for the brightness of Jesus' light. Let's begin this Eucharistic sacrifice, putting ourselves in God's presence and asking his forgiveness for our sins. As we humbly say, I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have grievously sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary of a Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, may forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. On this glorious week when we celebrate the Lord's resurrection, we praise God in the words of the Gloria. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who give constant increase to your church by new offspring, grant that your servants may hold fast in their lives to the sacrament they have received in faith. To our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Kindly sit. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. On the day of Pentecost, Peter stood up with the eleven and addressed the crowd in a loud voice. Men of Israel, listen to what I am going to say. Jesus the Nazarene was a man commended to you by God by the miracles and portents and signs that God worked through him when he was among you, as you all know. This man, who was put into your power by the deliberate intention and foreknowledge of God, you took and had crucified by men outside the law. You killed him, but God raised him to life, freeing him from the pangs of Hades. For it was impossible for him to be held in its power, since, as David says of him, I saw the Lord before me always, for with him at my right hand nothing can shake me. So my heart was glad, and my tongue cried out with joy. My body too will rest in the hope 
that you will not abandon my soul to Hades, nor allow your Holy One to experience corruption. You have made known the way of life to me. You will fill me with gladness through your presence. Brothers, no one can deny that the patriarch David himself is dead and buried. His tomb is still with us. But since he was a prophet and knew that God had sworn him an oath to make one of his descendants succeed him on the throne, what he foresaw and spoke about was the resurrection of the Christ. He is the one who was not abandoned to Hades and whose body did not experience corruption. God raised this man, Jesus, to life, and all of us are witnesses to that. Now raised to the heights by God's right hand, he has received from the Father the Holy Spirit who was promised, and what you see and hear is the outpouring of that Spirit. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Our response to the psalm will be Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Together, Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Preserve me, God, I take refuge in you. I say to the Lord, you are my God. O Lord, it is you who are my portion and cup. It is you yourself who are my prize. Response. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. And so my heart rejoices, my soul is glad. Even my body shall rest in safety. For you will not leave my soul among the dead, nor let your beloved know decay. Response. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. You will show me the path of life, the fullness of joy in your presence, at your right hand, happiness forever. Response, Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The sequence, Christians to the Paschal victim offer sacrifice and praise. The sheep are ransomed by the lamb and Christ the undefiled had sinners to his father reconciled. Death with life contended, combat strangely ended. Life's own champion, slain yet lives to reign. Tell us, Mary, say what thou didst see upon the way. The tomb the living did enclose. I saw Christ's glory as he rose. The angels there attesting, shroud with grave clothes resting. Christ, my hope, has risen. He goes before you into Galilee. That Christ is truly risen from the dead we know. Victorious King, thy mercy show. Kindly stand as we prepare our hearts to receive Jesus in the Gospel. Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia. Together. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. This day was made by the Lord. We rejoice and are glad. The acclamation, Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. The women departed quickly from the tomb with fear and great joy, 
and ran to tell the disciples. And behold, Jesus met them and said, Hail. And they came up and took hold of his feet and worshipped him. Then Jesus said to them, Do not be afraid. Go and tell my brethren to go to Galilee, and there they will see me. While they were going, behold, some of the guard went into the city and told the chief priests all that had taken place. When they had assembled with the elders and taken counsel, they gave a sum of money to the soldiers and said, Tell people, his disciples came by night and stole him away while we were asleep. If this comes to the governor's ears, we will satisfy him and keep you out of trouble. So they took the money and did as they were directed. And this story has been spread among the Jews to this day. The Gospel of the Lord. Mighty brothers and sisters, friends, disciples of Jesus, once again, a happy Easter to you. We are celebrating this Eucharist with joy and festivity because it's Easter week. Today's gospel is from St. Matthew. This whole week we'll have accounts of the resurrection. Today, Matthew, tomorrow, John, the after, Luke, and towards the end of the week, we'll have St. Mark. So all the four evangelists, their narratives about the resurrection event, and putting it together, we get a clear picture of exactly how things were after the resurrection of the Lord. And the first reading is from the Acts of the Apostles, not from the Old Testament, from the New Testament, but not the readings, the letters of St. Paul, but from the Acts. And this is like a history of the church. We'll have continuous reading of the first part of the Acts of the Apostle. This is exactly what happened at the very beginning uh, of the church, how Peter went out and preached, etc. The resurrection event, as we know and reflect, is the central event of our faith. By our Lord rising, he confirms that he is God, that he is the Son of God, the promised one. That he's not, not a mere man. And that's why evil, sin could not overpower him. Death could not overhold him, could not overpower him. He conquered sin, evil, conquered the consequences of sin, which is death, and therefore he rose. He rose very clearly. And now this was a disaster for those who were his enemies. This is a failure for all that they try to do. See, they, they were angry with our Lord because of what he, he challenged them, tried to get them. Uh, they were sort of uh, not too bad people, but they were getting hardened and hardened and hardened. They did not understand what is the meaning of discipleship of Jesus. What's the meaning of discipleship of, of God? Externals, not internal. And Jesus was continuously trying to get them to internalize the commands of God, which they did not. And therefore they tried their best to get rid of him. They got him betrayed through disloyalty, treachery of Judas. They got him tried through illegal means. Got him to Pilate and said, now uh, crucify him, Roman law. They got him condemned by slander, saying this man, we don't want him, is a king, he's blaspheming. And now they want to cover up the resurrection through bribery. They were threatened by the gospel of Jesus. Many are threatened by the gospel of Jesus even today. But let's come to the resurrection, which is our central point of our faith, your faith and mine. For us, Jesus, 
His resurrection, his teaching are central, life-giving, mean everything for us. They give meaning to life, give meaning to death, meaning to what we should do. Did our Lord really rise? We have no doubt. Even from the human point of view, they were frightened, the Jews and these Jews and Pharisees, they were frightened, and so they rushed and took counsel, told the soldiers, say that you all were sleeping, and therefore, and he was taken away. Think at the absurdity of this claim. No one believes it today, but absurdity even at that time. If they were sleeping, they, it's unthinkable that the apostles were so frightened and were dispersed, would come quietly and try to take his body and to, to roll away the stone without disturbing the soldiers if they were sleeping. They would have immediately got up and stopped them. Think of also how dangerous it was because uh, you see later on when Peter was in jail and the soldiers allowed him to escape because they were sleeping, uh, the, the angel opened the door and he walked out and then the soldiers were going to be sentenced to death but Peter saved them. Death sentence for those who uh, were lax in this. Think of, suppose really they had, they really believed it. Wouldn't they have searched the houses of the apostles for the body of Jesus? It would be the simplest thing to prove that he had not risen. You and I know the Lord is risen. You and I know that he is alive. You and I know that he is our strength. I am the resurrection and the life. He who believes in me will never die. Let the Lord's resurrection continuously give us strength, give us light, give us peace, give us joy, and in these days especially, give us hope. We offer you, O Lord divine, our humble gifts of bread and wine. We place them on your altar, Lord, today. Make them worthy of your love, Send your blessings from above, sanctify these gifts, O Lord, we pray. O take our hearts, take our minds, take all we have, make them thine, O Lord. Take all we have. Oh, 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 Lord, we offer you, O oh Lord divine, our humble gifts of bread and wine. We place them on your altar, Lord, today. Make them worthy of your love. Send your blessings from above. Sanctify these gifts, O Lord, we pray. O take our hearts, take our minds, take all we have, make them thine, O Lord. Take all we have, O Lord. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that your sacrifice and mine may be acceptable to God, our Father in heaven. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Accept graciously, O Lord, we pray, the offerings of your peoples, that renewed by confession of your name and by baptism, they may attain unending happiness. Make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. 
and on this day above all to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For he is the true Lord, the true Lamb, who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying he has destroyed our death. By rising he restored our life. Therefore overcome with Paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise. Even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, he broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. Once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, me, your unworthy servant, the auxiliaries, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face, have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed apostles, with all the saints who please you throughout the ages, merit to be coerced to eternal life, may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. My sisters and brothers, let's prepare ourselves to receive our Lord in communion. The Eucharist or spiritual communion. Let's say the prayer Jesus taught us. 
Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as you wait the blessed hope and coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the, kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, I leave you peace, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The Amen. peace of the Lord be with you always. And, and with your spirit. Let's offer you the sign of peace. Christ's peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Peace. May this mingling of the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ bring eternal life to us to receive him. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. thanksgiving be every moment thine. Lord Jesus, thank you for the blessings and graces you have given me through this spiritual communion. pray. May the grace of this Paschal Sacrament abound in our minds, we pray, O Lord, and make those you've set on the way of eternal salvation worthy of your gifts. Make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks, Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. Once again, happy Easter to each one of you at home.
The Lord is risen indeed. Alleluia. We pray now for relief from the coronavirus. Almighty and merciful God, who show your love to all creation everywhere, hear graciously the prayers we make for all those affected by the coronavirus in various parts of the world. We come before you asking for a quick control of the outbreak, for a healing of those affected, for the victims and their families. We pray for the doctors doing research that an effective vaccine to combat the sickness is speedily found. We pray for the government and health authorities that they take appropriate steps for the good of the people. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. <laughs> 